We all know that Japanese people love fictional characters and they surely do love cars. Someone in the 1980s decided to put these two together and so started a whole new subculture called it Thasha. So, let's start with what is Itasha. Itasha means a car with stickers or wraps of fictional characters. These fictional characters are generally from anime and games. In Japanese, Itasha literally means painful or cringeworthy plus car, adding an extra sense of cringeworthy car. So now you know why this video's title is this. There are also motorcycles and bicycles in this town. The motorcycles are called as Itasha and the bicycles are called as Itachari. I still don't know how you Itasha wrap a fucking bicycle. In the 1980s, when Japan's economy was flourishing, Tokyo streets were filled with luxury cars, which were mostly imports. Among the imports, Italian cars were the most famous and desired, which were originally called as Itasha in Japan. The word Itasha derived from a combination of two words, Itai and Sha. Itai means painful and Sha means vehicle. The Itasha culture started in the 1980s with production of stickers of anime characters. But it got famous only during the 21st century when anime culture was getting well known through the internet. Since the first auto saloon in 2007 was held in Ariake near Comicet, the subculture has grown and has allowed people to express themselves and show off their customization fellow friends and competitors. Itasha also has involvement in motorsport events. Race cars and bikes with Itasha decals can be seen in regional events and in international events, including events under FIA. Many professional teams and drivers would not mind turning their high-performance race cars into Itasha cars. Teams adding Itasha decals on the car doesn't only bring in sponsors but also increases the team's and event's fan base, bringing more viewers to the tournament. Pacific Racing has had collaborations with Squid Girl, Ghost in the Shell, Love Live, and Girls and Panzer in their involvement with the Super GT and D1 Grand Prix series. Good Smiles team had the most number of Itasha decals on their cars since they were actually a Japanese figure company. Also, Good Smiles team is a three-time champion in Super GT's GT300 class. Itasha cars can be spotted around the world, especially in the United States and Japan. They may not be fast but will certainly catch the public attention. I got to know about Itasha cars thanks to Noriario's video and he also explains them better. So go check out his video too. Anyways, I'll end it there. This was a short video. I'm seriously running out of content. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like below and if you wanna watch more of our country, feel free to subscribe, ain't gonna force ya. Anyways, stay safe and PEACE!